Hey everyone, it's Ogpa George, and welcome to uh, my new Let's Play. It's Let's Play Super Mario Land 2: Six Golden Coins. Uh, this was released on the Game Boy in uh, 1993, I think it said on the home menu. Um, and I'm playing it on Virtual Console on my Game Boy, so uh, yes, I can switch it to the stupid green colours if you really want to. But uh, trust me, you don't really want want that. So uh, uh, there's the demo playing, and uh, let's just quit out of that. So uh, let's uh, let's go and have some fun. Uh, the premise of this game is um, you're Mario. You have a castle. Uh, let's delete this file B here because I've got least progress on it. Anyway, uh, you're Mario. You have a castle, and it's been taken over by Wario, who's uh, locked the door with six golden coins that you have to go and retrieve. That's the story. No princesses to get to, to rescue. Just your your castle, Mario's castle. Anyway, uh, let's stop off here. This first level. I don't think you can ever get back to this level. Actually, uh, it's just an introductory level. And uh, in we go. Uh, the mechanics of this are quite similar to the uh, Mario Super Mario Bros. games. Uh, you know, mushrooms make you big and so on. As opposed to Super Mario Land 1, which uh, I don't have on here. Um, which is just very, very different. Uh, actually, the graphics are a little bit Super Mario World-y, really, I suppose. The Goombas certainly look uh, more detailed than I would expect them to uh, on the Game Boy. This is this this is a game that I had as a child, and so it's quite nostalgic for me, quite obviously. Uh, just blast through those. Anything in these blocks? No, that's a shame. Um, so yeah, it's 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 obviously being the Game Boy, very simple. Just you know, uh, beat a run, A to jump, run into enemies, and you uh, take damage because you're an idiot. Yeah, that sort of thing. And try and go down pipes and see if there's anything at the bottom of them. <laughs> there are a few glitches in this game that are, I believe, edited uh, edited out of the Virtual Console version, but. Uh, you know, if you look up speedruns and uh, especially two assisted speedruns of this game, you'll see there's just ridiculous glitches that just complete the game in a matter of seconds. Uh, grab those coins, why not? I know I'm invincible, but I don't care. Uh, Fire Flower! That's another weird thing about this game is that uh, a lot of time in things like uh, Mario Bros and uh, Mario World, uh, you'll need a mushroom first to be able to get something like a Fire Flower power up. In this game, really, with some of them, you just get the power, the fire flower, or uh, the uh, other main big power up in this game, uh, just straight. Even when you're small, Mario. So uh, I suppose it's nice to see these blocks uh, only can be destroyed by fire, Mario. There, so uh, those by those particular ones quite pointless to destroy. Some of them you'll want to destroy them to get to special areas or whatever. Um, speaking of special areas, this game has uh, quite a few secret exits in some of the levels, and I, for the life of me, can't remember any of them. So I probably won't be using them. Anyway, this is the end of the level, so down here you have a goal and you can walk into the door. With most levels, there's a way up, and uh, you know, sort of similar to being able to touch the top of the flagpole in old Mario games, except with this one, you ring this bell when you go into the goal, and you get to play a bonus game, which will either give you a power up or some lives. Uh, this is what we're going to do. We're going to do this one. This one is a little claw game. Um, I used to get quite skilled at this, and I missed. I used to be really skilled at that, and always get uh, those. The lives are hearts in this game because obviously green mushrooms aren't going to be distinguishable from regular mushrooms, so uh, that's quite understandable. So anyway, once you're through that first level, which as I said, you can ne you can never go back to the first level. There's uh, six zones. So here's tree zone. Uh, moving around. Here is just a level which is on its own. I don't know what it's for. You can get a fire flower power up near the end of it. That's about all I can think of. Uh, this level will lead you into a space zone. We'll be having a look at that in a minute because that's probably the first place I'm going to go. Going through here. This is a uh, macro zone. Uh, basically, uh, if you remember Tiny Huge Island from 50 bajillion Mario games, it's uh, kind of like that. This is uh, Pumpkin Zone, basically Halloween World. Uh, over there you can actually see Space Zone up there, that moon up there is Space Zone, but you can only get to it through the hippo level. And uh, this is probably the weirdest zone of, of the six, Mario Zone, a giant model of Mario that you go through. Yeah. Um, not sure what Nintendo was smoking that day. And finally, getting swallowed by this turtle takes us to Turtle Zone, which has no turtles in it whatsoever. Well, maybe it has some Coopers, I don't know. So uh, you can do those six zones in any order. As well, there's this hut here. 
This hut is what your coins are for. Collecting 100 coins won't give you an extra life, but you can play uh, mini games, well, a mini game with your coins, betting various amounts. You can see 30, 50, 200, or uh, 999 coins. So if we go into the 30 game, this will just give us a power up. So we have gotten the carrot, which is the other major power up in this game. It's the. It's called Bunny Mario, and it basically allows you uh, a float on your jump. So you can float down. Um, I won't be able. Uh, no, I won't be demonstrating it. Uh, I'll probably lose it actually fairly quickly. Um, for a fire flower, I much prefer the fire flower in this game. Although the bunny suit does um, have some very good use in certain parts. But anyway, uh, we're going to go into this stage first. Uh, what I just called the hippo stage. And uh, the thing about this stage is, as a lead-in to uh, activating Space Zone, it's very easy. There's a whole stage to go through in this bubble and so on and so forth, but if you just hold... Uh, I don't know if you need to hold B. Um, B might make you a little bit faster, I'm not sure. Um, but certainly if you just hold A, you don't even need to hold right. Once you're going, you're going. You can skip the entire level like this. It's really weird that nobody picked up on this in playtesting, <laughs> I think. But uh, you go pick up a couple of coins, skip those birds. Nothing comes up nearly this high. The birds, the little spiky guys, look like Gordos from uh, Kirby. So the other thing is, you can see at the bottom of the screen we've got uh, a lives counter, we've got the coins counter, and next to that is a little Goomba icon, which is uh, an enemies counter. If you reach uh, 100 kills, you basically get uh, a Starman pop up and you can get some uh, limited invincibility. So here's the other type of mini game. Uh, when you hit a switch, the two mice are going to chomp down on a wire and then a little spark will travel across the wire like so and cross through every bridge it goes through and this one's going to give me just a mushroom. That's no good. Is that going to downgrade me? That downgraded me. That's harsh. Anyway, here's Space Zone. And uh, Space Zone has some of my favourite music in the game, but not in this level. This level is uh, fairly standard music, I think. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. And uh, yeah, most of the boxes here have uh, just coins in them. I think there's a secret exit from this level to get to uh, a, a special level, but I can't for the life of me remember where the secret exit is. So uh, I'm not going to be going for it. I'm going to go for one little thing, but... Uh, I'm going to go for maybe one little trial of something. Anyway, up here I can skip all spikes and sort of things, grab a 1-up. This is the level I was practicing on just to uh, make sure I was still okay with this game. So uh, I got plenty of these coins over and over again. And under here, over to here, and wait because the little space buddy is coming underneath me. This is the only level that I know quite this well. There you go, and there we go, Fire Flower, that's what I needed. Get that. Those little bells, by the way, are uh, your checkpoints in the level. So, uh, you know, basically, kind of like the, uh, kind of like the, you know, the little tape that you can smash through, or in Mario World, or the flags that you can collect in uh, modern Mario uh, Bros. New, new Super Mario Bros. Star games. That's all those bells are, but you do have to click them, so, uh, no, 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 oh, phew. Okay. Yeah. So, these, there's fireball blocks here, and I'm not sure what they do. Uh, you can get them, it's, uh, awfully tricky, because that's the way you're supposed to get the bell. Maybe if I, hold on. Go to get the bell, and... Then from about here, do that. No, okay. I know there was a way to get them. I got them in uh, practice. I I promise. Oh well, I tried. No, not much you can do. Even if you do get those, I didn't find a use for that thing. I was just going to try and grab the bell going in the other direction. So uh, yeah, I'll cut much most of that out. Anyway, let's. There we go. That's the skill that I used to get. So, three extra lives, that's always good. And on to, yeah, Space Zone is really short. There's only the Hippo and then two more levels. 
So this level has uh, some of the, one of my favourite tracks in the game, and also it has a very strange mechanic where you can just sort of hold on to jump and you just float up like you're in that bubble, except there are threats everywhere now, you can't just hang around at the top like this, unfortunately. You have to actually play the level and, uh, yeah, okay, that's, that's bad. Uh, that's really bad. Okay, I've uh, <laughs> I'm apparently out of practice on this. Uh, up there, grab those. I was going to say, hopefully I can find a mushroom soon. What's in the box? A coin. <laughs> oh no, I, put, I picked the wrong path. Phew, through. Yeah, these stars, there's nothing you can do to them. Even if I had fireballs, I wouldn't be able to do much to them with the fireballs. Uh, yeah, like so. See, nothing you can do. And I'd lost my fire straight away. That Such is my hubris. Oh well, I know there's a power up box. Uh, I was going to say near the end, but uh, there's one right there as well, apparently. Generally, I just like to get through this level alive and hopefully with fireballs, but uh, fireballs aren't necessary. Collecting all those coins there would have been nice, but uh, I would have had to deal with these puffer fish type guys either side. Can I? No, I can't fireball them. How I'm able to cast fireballs in space is beyond me, but at least Mario's wearing a spacesuit, so it's uh, plausible that he can breathe, I guess. I uh, don't want to click that because that would uh, depower me. The way this game works. Again, mushrooms. Or at least the, the way it worked in that bonus was that the mushroom depowered me. Oop. And yeah, that's another fire flower. I don't need it. So here's our first boss. It's a. Uh if you've played Mario Land 1, you'll recognise this guy. It's actually Taranza, the uh, main antagonist of Mario 1. For some reason, he's the uh, the boss here, and uh, I've already uh, lost a hit point. Ugh, crikey. Okay, duck down here, what's he going to do? This is the easiest way to avoid him, is just be in the corner, because even if he yeah, swings at a bad moment... What?! Yeah, that's the other thing about this game. The hit, cl the hit detection is... Uh, What's the word? Terrible. You are going to curse this game's hit detection. I'm surprised I didn't curse it uh, a little earlier when uh, I was up against pigs, because the, the pigs that shoot the uh, cannonballs, you can jump on the cannonballs to uh, to get rid of them, but the hit detection is really off on them, and so sometimes you'll think you jumped on it and you didn't. Similarly, in this game, the hit detection is really bad. Generally, you want fireballs for the bosses. Sort of something of a Mario tradition. If you have to fight a boss, you want a fireball for it because the fireballs will do uh, a fair amount of damage to them, and you don't have to risk your backside by jumping on them. Oops. Oh well. Yeah, I think you're supposed to like jump over the fireball-y things and end up trying not to get hit by the little swooshy things. But uh, in the end, ducking in the corner is the safest bet. Just being a coward. <laughs> oh, see, sometimes he'll do that. He'll drop down, give you a chance to hit him when, yeah, everything's on the screen already, so you don't actually really have a chance to hit him, but he's only got, I think he's only got one hit to go. Oh, and I died again. Okay. I've got 11 lives, or 10 lives now. I can do this. <laughs> Yeah, have I mentioned I'm not that great at this game? <laughs> at least the checkpoint for this level is very near the end. I'll take you on any day. Yes, I managed to actually hit him twice without being hit. I think this is a record for me. 
Yeah, you even avoid his swoop attack there by crouching in the corner. There we go! You made it easy for me that time, thank you very much. And that gets us a golden coin! Uh, as mentioned in the game title, there are six golden coins for the six slots, and uh, that's actually the door on the front of Mario's castle. What, quite why it says Mario Land 2 on it, I don't know. I mean, uh, would you put that on the front of your castle? But uh, there you go. That's what it says. And also there's a Koopa and a Goomba there decorating the sides of that door, which, uh, yeah, they're not Wario's um, minions, so again, not sure why. Anyway, uh, that should do it for the first part. Thanks for watching. Next time, uh, we might go into this level just to see what it's about, especially now that I'm depowered. Um, and then we'll go into another zone. I'm not sure what zone I'm going to do next, but thanks for watching, and bye-bye.